subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Microsoft Azure Administrator Associate AZ-104. So let's get started. Question number 1, what is Microsoft Azure? Your answer is, Azure is a cloud computing platform that was launched by Microsoft in February 2010. It is a highly flexible cloud platform that offers development, data storage, service hosting, and service management. Question number 2. What is cloud computing? Your answer is, cloud computing is a term referred to storing and accessing data over the internet. However, it doesn't store any data on the hard disk of your personal computer, and you are allowed to access data from a remote server. Question number 3, explain the importance of the role and how many types of roles are available in Windows Azure? Your answer is, roles are a very important concept in Windows Azure and learning them is the base for further programming. Three types of roles in Windows Azure are 1. Web Role It is used to deploy website by using Long which is supported by the East platform customized to run the web apps. 2. Worker Role It helps you to execute the process that runs in the background by 3. VM Role It helps you to schedule the Windows services and task. Question number 4. What is the use of the Migration Assistant tool in Azure websites? Your answer is, Migration Assistant tool helps you to examine your ESA installation. It helps you to recognize which site can be migrated to the cloud. Moreover, it is also featuring components which are either not migrated or unsupported on the Azure platform. Question number 5, when to choose virtual network peering? Your answer is, virtual network peering can be a great way to enable network connectivity between services that are in different virtual networks. Because it's easy to implement and deploy, and it works well across regions and subscriptions, virtual network peering should be your first choice when you need to integrate Azure virtual networks. Question number 6, what is Azure DNS? Your answer is, Azure DNS allows you to host and manage your domains by using a globally distributed name server infrastructure. It allows you to manage all of your domains by using your existing Azure credentials. Azure DNS acts as the SOA for the domain. but you cannot use Azure DNS to register a domain name. You need to use a third-party domain registrar to register your domain. Question number 7, how much storage can you use with a virtual machine? Your answer is, each data disk can be up to 1 terabyte. The number of data disks that you can use depends on the size of the virtual machine. Azure Managed Disks are the new and recommended disk storage offerings for use with Azure Virtual Machines for persistent storage of data. You can use multiple managed disks with each virtual machine. Managed disks offer two types of durable storage options, premium and standard managed disks. Question number 8, define Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets. Your answer is, these are the Azure computation resources that can be used to deploy and manage sets of identical virtual machines. These scale sets are configured in the same manner and are designed to support the auto-scaling of the applications, without the need for pre-provisioning of the VMs. They help to build large-scale applications targeting big data and containerized workloads in an easier manner. Question number 9. SQL Server installed on a virtual machine is an example of? Your answer is. If you install SQL Server on a virtual machine manually or by using a box image, it is still a virtual machine. That means customers still need to manage all of the platform aspects. This includes the operating system settings, patches, middleware, SQL Server runtime settings, etc. As such this remains an infrastructure as a service. Question number 10. Why did you choose a career in cloud computing? Your answer is. These types of Azure interview questions require a thoughtful, honest response. By thinking through your answer ahead of time, you'll be ready to say something your interviewer will approve of. Show that you care about the field and that you have a passion for cloud computing and the problems it can solve. Question number 11. What are the three types of Rebec controls in Microsoft Azure? Your answer is. The three different types of roles are. 1. Owner. It has full access to all resources including the right to delegate access to others. 2. Contributor. It can create and manage all types of Azure resources but can't grant access to others. 3. Reader. It can view existing Azure resources. 
Question number 12. What are the steps to move an Azure virtual machine from one virtual network to another virtual network? Your answer is 1. Delete a virtual machine in VNet 1. 2. Create a virtual machine in VNet 2. 3. Attach an existing disk to the newly created VM. Question number 13. Define Windows Azure App Fabric. Your answer is with the help of Windows Azure Diagnostics, you can gather diagnostic data from an application running in Windows Azure and use it for capacity planning and evaluation. This process is called Windows Azure App Fabric. Question number 14. What is the distinction between Windows Azure queues and Windows Azure Service Bus queues? Your answer is. Azure queues are responsible for solid and particular messaging between and within the services. They emphasize on a very straightforward REST-based get put peak interface as well. Bus queues are used for a more extensive Windows Azure messaging framework to support queuing. Question number 15. What happens when you exhaust the maximum failed attempts for authenticating yourself via Azure AD? Your answer is. We use a more sophisticated strategy to lock accounts. This is based on the IP address of the request and the passwords entered. The duration of the lockout also increases based on the likelihood that it is an attack. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.